Thank you. Now I give the floor to Mrs. Rosa Pavanelli, and I would like to ask uh, Mr. Matias Gremonte to get ready to take the floor immediately afterwards. The pandemic is not yet over, and we are already looming in the face of a new crisis spurred on by the war in Ukraine and a rampant inflation that is affecting many countries in the developed and developing world alike. The ILO Director General's report to the conference warns that a food, energy, and financial crisis is approaching. This scenario will also lead to a new refugees and migration emergency and a climate catastrophe that will affect all countries. In the reality, we do not need to wait for future events to happen, as we are already in the middle of a global structural crisis of the neoliberal economic model that is responsible for the obscene growth of inequality, injustice, and poverty, and for the irreparable damages to our planet. This is no longer acceptable nor sustainable. Corporates that made huge profits at the expenses of workers and people's rights are to be held accountable for the multi-layer crisis we are facing. Make-up solutions to the current economic system will be insulting for billions of working people. It's time to act decisively for a change of paradigm that introduces a 25% global minimum tax for multinational corporates, a tax on wealth and extra profits and the decade-long globalized and delocalized supply chains that led to the current race to the bottom for workers' rights and wages and showed to fail in emergency situations. Reviews cooperation and free trade agreements, including the International Intellectual Property Protection System, stops the greenwashing hypocrisy and resolutely address the energy transition as well as the protection of natural resources and commons. The pandemic taught us that health, care, education, water and sanitation, transport, energy, food are essential for a safe and sustainable development. Let's stop austerity measures leading to privatization and profit over human beings and invest more in public services and protection of natural resources and environment. Recovering the role of states and multilateralism to end their capture by corporates is essential to increase the scope of human rights, protect workers' rights, and achieve gender equality once and for all. This is also the only way to create an alternative to the belligerent narrative and the dangerous race to uh, rearmament we are witnessing in these days. If not, the future of every single human being will be at risk. In the end, it was not the robots that were going to threaten the future of work, but much more well-known causes. The same ones that have already been identified more than 100 years ago when a group of visionary leaders decided to set up the International Labour Organization as a global remedy to insecurity, humanitarian, political and economic concerns derived from war and its social and economic costs. Is the ILO up to the task this time? The new Director General will have a titanic task to rethink and reposition the role of the organization and make sure it fulfills the premise that reads, whereas universal and lasting peace can be established only if it is based upon social justice. 